So I finally picked up this golden parry Ash of War that everyone's been asking about. But I really wish I could test this on Margit. I really shouldn't have killed him in part two. I see the Oh well. Hey guys, Thing Fishy here with part 3 of my Elden Ring parry guide. And a part 3 that will definitely surprise you. Because for some builds and some players, I'm not so sure that the buckler is the best parry tool anymore. And I really didn't expect to be saying that. Now I think I've managed to find all the parry tools you guys have suggested. Apart from one, which is the Karian Retaliation skill. Now, this is because this skill requires 18 int, and I haven't levelled up this character at all since fighting Margit in part 2, I just came straight to the Altus Plateau. Because I want to go through the whole game with this parry build so I can give you some tips for yours. I'm also yet to cast a single spell in Elden Ring so far, and want to do an intelligence build in the future in which I will test the Karian Retaliation, and you can expect a full guide on that as well. Okay, so first up we have the Thrusting Swords and Curve Swords, and I'm lumping these two in together for this video because over multiple fights with both Margit and the Test Soldier at the Church of Allah, I really couldn't feel that much of a difference between them. At times it felt like the Curve Sword might be slightly more forgiving, but that could just be me. In any case, if there is a difference, it's small enough for you not to have to worry about it. So what are they like? Well, I'd say that they're smack bang in the middle of everything that I've tested so far. They're not as consistent as a small shield, but more reliable than a fist weapon. As you can see here, there were times where I parried every attack with them, then seconds later, failed to hit a single parry on the very same attacks. So in summary, these are usable, but they're not optimal. Those curved sword parries do look insanely cool though. Next up we have, well, a bit of a long shot. One of my viewers recommended a shield that inflicts blood damage from its shield bash. This made me wonder if there was a possibility that if fitted with a parry skill instead, it might inflict bleed through parries, making it possible to kill enemies purely through just parrying them. Alas, after parrying Margit about 40 times in a row, no bleed. What a shot though. Next up we have the tool that I was most excited about testing, and definitely the most requested one by you guys, the Golden Parry. And I have to say that no tool that I've tested so far in Elden Ring has made me want to take that sneaky peek at the parry data quite as much as this one. because. Contrary to some of the glowing reviews I've heard, I was actually pretty disappointed by this one. On applying it to a small shield, I actually feel like it might have made parrying a little bit worse, bringing it more in line with a curved sword or a thrusting sword parry. It's still very usable, but not as consistent as a normal small shield for me. And while the extended range that this weapon art gives allowed me to create some of the coolest parrying footage that you've seen on this channel, I don't actually know how this helps. Parrying Margit from this range looks cool, but it didn't actually allow me enough time to repost him. And I don't think that attack would have hit me anyway because of the distance. So I don't really know specifically how this would help you in your playthroughs. But this could very well just be me being stupid, and I'm going to keep this skill on me for my parry playthrough and test it out some more. So next up we have the Storm Wall, Ash of War. And I went into this test expecting similar results to the Golden Parry. But I was wrong. Between Margit and our test soldier, I barely missed a single parry with this. At first, when I was fighting Margit, I thought this Ash of War might actually be a little bit better than the small shield, but after testing this repeatedly against Margit and the Test Soldier, I'd probably conclude that it's about the same as the small shield pack. If there is a difference, it's negligible enough for you not to worry about it. So then I had an idea. 
What if I applied this Ash of War to a medium shield? Could it make the most useless parry tool in the game viable? Well, here's the answer. So what we have here is a 100% physical reduction shield with a parry similar to a small shield. This is almost a Dark Souls 1 shield in Elden Ring. Now the benefits of this are massive. Check out this footage of me using the shield to both block and parry. Having a shield that can do this means that there isn't a single attack in Margit's whole phase one that can hit you. So the big question, do we have a new winner? Now on pure parrying ability, no, I think the buckler still wins. But for a parry tool that will likely make your playthrough of Elden Ring easier, I actually think yes. Now, I almost never use a shield in Souls games. Bloodborne was my first Souls game and definitely my most played one. And I've never really got out of that playstyle. But for anyone who does use a shield regularly and has those blocking reflexes already in their hands, using this setup is an absolute no-brainer. Especially since you can get Stormwall in Limgrave literally a couple of minutes after character creation. And don't worry, I've already started another video and play along guide for this, grabbing both a medium shield and storm wall so you can use it on any build or starting class. Now, while it still doesn't have the super fast startup of the buckler, I think it being a 100% physical reduction shield that you can hit almost perfect parries with most of the time does make it a better option than the buckler for anyone who leans towards that more defensive playstyle. So I'm going to hang on to the shield and use it more on my parry character and let you know how much it changes my gameplay. And that's it for part three of my Elden Ring parry guide. I hope you found this information useful and if I still haven't tested your favourite parry tool, leave me a comment down below. Thanks guys, see you soon.